Ooh, what to do, what to do. I suppose I could masturbate again. I'll play some FIFA 24. Oh, just so bored. Hello. Oh, hi there. Good to speak to you again. Oh, that's fantastic news. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. Um, I can I can be straight over. Yeah, obviously you need, you know we're halfway through the season, so we need to get on with it. Yeah, I'm 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 happy to fly over tomorrow. Yeah. No, that's that's brilliant. No, thank you for the opportunity. I can't wait to get started. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, okay, see you soon. All right, bye-bye. Woohoo! Woohoo! Harry, we're off to... <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode one, Club Four of The Journeyman. And here we are... In Lazio! Lazio! It's bloody Lazio! I'm really chuffed with this job. I'll tell you the story um, before our job. So if you're brand new to the series and you don't want to watch the previous, God knows how many episodes, 50 episodes, you can start right here because I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we've done before. We've just joined this club. We haven't played a single game. We're going to rebuild this club because they're struggling a little bit. Down in 13th in the league need to sort them out so let's have a little bit of talk before we go into looking at Lazio about the history of the save just to keep catch you up or refresh you hmm refreshing right so let's have a look at my achievements no 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 let's not have a look at my achievements let's look at my job history so we started off with the lowest possible reputation and skills and everything like that and we Started unemployed and just waited for a job. And the first job that came along was Cardiff Met Uni in the Daffabet Welsh Premier League. Uh, one of the smallest teams in the league. They're amateur team. They don't pay any wages. It was a fun time. We lived in, in the university girls dormitory for a while. <laughs> that was fun. Um, and we did pretty well. We stayed there for one sort of full season and we finished eighth, which was higher than expected. We just needed to survive. We did quite well. We won the manager of the month. <laughs> once just just once uh, but it, it was definitely an award i've got a trophy for it somewhere um so then at the end of the season uh we decided to leave we needed to get paid you know this is a career we want to get paid so we went to levski karlovo in the bulgarian second division um they were struggling in a bit to be honest and in the first season we managed to finish seventh and we were a much improved signed side we signed some good youngsters um i won the manager of the year because they expected relegation so we absolutely smashed it in that first year so then in the second year we decided to stay for another year because we were doing so well and we got them promoted into the bulgarian first league um and uh just manager of the year again yeah yeah and and i won the league yeah all good finished first so our reputation was climbing and i thought that's a good place although we got promoted into the bulgarian first division there wasn't that much money we're still a tiny team. We were going to have a couple of seasons of struggle. So I thought, whilst my reputation is on a high, I'm going to sort of try and find a better club. And that club was the mighty VVV Venlo in um, the Netherlands. And we signed up for them. They were a sort of newly promoted team. They were destined to struggle. And we'd finished a, a respectable 13th in our first season. It was okay. We sort of brought in some youngsters it was really good and then the next season we had a fantastic season finished six in the league the season after that we finished six again so, um, a few more points but we also won the manager of the year and the dutch cup <laughs> thank you very much thank you Thank you. And in our last season with Venlo, we improved a little bit as you'll see if you watch the last few episodes we were challenging for the title with about 3 months three months to go and then it all started falling apart we couldn't recover it and then eventually we dropped down to fifth which was really really disappointing we did win the dutch super cup which is the winners of the league versus the winners of the dutch cup and uh, we won that in that year so we've won a few trophies and stuff so i was quite happy um but we decided after four years with venlo we needed to move on our reputations increased we've done all our coaching badges i'll show you my profile in a second so we discovered 
so I, I decided to let my contract run out of Venlo. I didn't want to screw them over. I, th I told them I wasn't going to sign a new contract. Said, look, this is what's going to happen. And they're like, okay. So we left at the end of the season. And then it was like, okay. And it's, it's a weird position to be in because you just have no idea what sort of teams are going to come in for you. Like, I wasn't expecting, like, Barcelona and Real Madrid and Bayern Munich and stuff like that. I've, I've not managed a big team, really, yet. So, and I've not, you know, I've not won the top league not done enough in Europe. We've had one season in Europe, which we didn't do so great with Venlo. Um, but I thought some decent teams now. I've got some good experience. I've got my pro license and all that sort of good stuff. So I <laughs> start of the season. There wasn't that many jobs available. I was thinking I wanted to go to a big league. Italy, France, Germany, Spain were the sort of... I didn't want to go to England yet. I want to do that much later on in my career. So that's like four leagues. Um that I was on the lookout for. Probably my favourite would have been Germany. So, sat there, start the season, there wasn't that many jobs available. The only job of any interest whatsoever in those four leagues was um, Sevilla in Spain. And uh, they didn't give me an interview. So, I was like, okay, maybe my reputation's not as good as I thought it was. So, I sort of, you know, I was hollered, you know, just going, hit and continue for a month or so, waiting for other jobs to pop up. And apparently, nobody in the Bundesliga gets fired because there was no jobs available at all. In that six-month period, because we're in January the 7th now, so we're halfway through the season, there was not a single Bundesliga job that came up. and uh, But there was various jobs, and I started applying, and I was like, okay, um, somebody else turned me down. Um, and then one job popped up, and I thought, and it was Atletico Bilbao. Now, I was talking about it on Twitter. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on Twitter, do so, at GG because I was tweeting out all the job interviews I was getting. I didn't tell anybody which job I took, but I was tweeting out. And Atletico Bilbao offered me uh, offered me an interview. I was like, oh, that's quite cheeky. They're about um, 12th, 11th in Spain. And I was like, oh, that's cheeky. So I thought I'd do the interview. And the, the interview's going great. And they say, uh, transfer budget. Um, we're prepared to offer you £50 million. £50 million transfer budget. I'm like, this is brilliant. So I tweeted out just the fact that I got an interview with Atletico Bilbao. And then... People pointed out, which I totally forgot, Atletico Bilbao, you're only allowed to sell, uh, buy players from the Basque region, right? Which really narrows it down. And but and and I could have lived with that, to be honest. Is it is an interesting challenge? And I thought, okay, but then it it dawned on me, can't sign Harry Owen. Then can we? We can't if we go to. Atletico Bilbao, we cannot sign Harry Owen. So I was like, so I, the hashtag no Owen, no go started trending because I was like, no, not happening. We can't, we can't leave Harry Owen behind. If you don't know who Harry Owen behind uh, Harry Owen is, if you're new to the save, Harry Owen was with us with us when we first started at Cardiff Met Uni, a striker, and he's been, he's came with us everywhere we've been. He's been with us on the journey with us. So he's a bit of a legend of the save. You'll get to know him if you're new. Um, so, that, so I was like, okay, I have to turn it down. Gutted. £50 million transfer money. Gutted. And then a few English championship clubs in, came in for me. Um, one was quite good. Blackburn came in for me um, with like £17 million transfer budget. Um, Aston Villa, um, Brighton, a couple of other clubs. In, and I was like, I don't want to go to England. But it was looking like they were the only teams, along with... Dutch teams were the only ones coming in. I got the offer of the FC20 job, the Heracles job. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm moving away. I don't want us to be here anymore. We're going to a different league. So then Lats and then suddenly Lazio and Sampdoria manager both got sacked on the same day. And I tweeted out and I was like, oh, cool. that could that could be cheeky. Like it, Italy wasn't my first choice. The Bundesliga was, but Lazio and Sampdoria, both both legendary teams I was like, that's that's cheeky tempting. So we decided I did interviews for both. They both offered me the job and I went with Lazio. I was just happy that a decent club wanted me, to be honest. I was I was just happy at this point. Six months into my holiday, my sabbatical, I was like, I'm just happy a team takes me. So Lazio are the team. Um, there was a couple of sort of reasons why Lazio had... Um, I chose Lazio over, over Sampdoria. Lazio are a tiny bit better off financially. Lazio, uh, Sampdoria had a quite a lot of debt. And also, they were offering me, Sampdoria offered me half a million pound transfer budget for January, which is like nothing in this area. Um, but Lazio offered me four million. It's not very much, but it's better. 
And so I thought with that, I could do a little, I could just, you know, rejig it a little bit more. If we look at the league table, I haven't played a single game. Um, we're both on the exact same point. Sampdoria there, 17 points. We're there, 17 points. So the board expect us to get mid-table this season. So they just, they want an improvement. How many teams? So 10th. We can do that. We're, we're, okay, seven points. Quite a gap, actually. Um, <laughs> didn't see that. Right, I'm resigning. No. Um, and I think that's definitely doable. So if we look at... Um, we can sort of check up on... Oh, I've got... Oh. For the Venlo fans amongst you, I've got some horrible things to show you in a minute. So as you can see, this is my uh, uh, manager attributes. It's still shit. It's... It, it's kind of broken, I think, but okay. So we're almost three-star reputation now with our Continental Pro license. I think that's the highest license we get, isn't it? Oh, there's no there's no others. Um, but I've got to show you Venlo. Oh, it's been a massacre. It's been a massacre, my friends. It's, it's ugly. Right? Admittedly, with their new manager, they are second in the league, right? Which is weirdly good and bad because when you leave a club you kind of want them to do bad because it's like you know you can't you're shit without me but i love venlo so i'm happy that they're doing well but they are 10 points off second it looks like a this season's going to be very close for the rest of the group so they're second at the moment but there's a massive group of teams um but you went till you see the transfers my friends you wait until you see the transfers it it shocked me to my core look at the like Philip Kiss, released on a free. That's okay. He was getting on a bit, right? Kevin Doherty, backup left back, sold for half a million. The Hollow Man, one of our best centre backs, sold for 2.7. Sandy Willey, sold to Will. Will at Willey for up to 4.2. Dan Dickinson, sold for 2.5. Picasso, sold for 2.9. Jean Claude Van Damme, a superstar youngster, sold for up to 4 million pounds. Pereira, the new. Argentinian centre back that we only bought last season sold for 3.6 million to Ajax, and then Uzo he was shit. That's fine, 650 grand. The other Argentinian centre back I only just bought last season sold to Ajax again for 3.2. Black and Decker they got rid of, and then um, Theodore de Kock. It, to be fair, he was shit. I just signed him because his name was Theodore de Kock, but that's fair enough. And Harry Owen sold to oh, it's us, it's us. We got Harry Owen. Of course we got Harry fucking Owen. Of course we did. But that is carnage. £16 million worth in sales. They signed a couple of decent players. But the fact that they sold those two amazing Argentinian centre-backs to Ajax um, is, is mind-boggling. Because look how good they are. They're not conceding any goals. Because they've got two really good Argentinian centre-backs, you idiots. I, so I'm a little bit upset about that. Right, so apparently the UK has left the EU. So that means that in Italy you can only have two non-EU players, which I already have, which means Harry Owen can't be registered until we get rid of one of the other non-EU players. Trouble is, the two we have are, are probably our best players in the league, in the team. So what we're going to do is Harry Owen's just going to wait until next season. We'll get rid of one of these next season because Harry Owen has to be registered, right? Um... We've done a little bit of a clear out. I've had a few days. I joined at Christmas, hence the hat. It's 7th of January now. I should probably take the hat off. Um, but I've had a little bit of a clear out and sort of looked what my best team is, looked what areas we're weak and where we're strong and designed a brand new tactic around that fact. And um, let's have a look at the transfers so far. So most of these aren't mine. The only players we've bought in so far, we've got more, more irons in the fire. Um, is Harry Owen for £8,000. If you don't know Harry Owen, revel in the majesty that is Harry Owen's attributes. If you're new to the save, you're thinking, what the fuck? And if you're old to the save, you're probably thinking, what the fuck? But that's fine. That's fine. Harry Owen is a legend. He will come with me everywhere. Right, and then we bought um, Gerard La Latinen. We're going to need a nickname for this guy. 21-year-old Finnish international that actually my scout found him. I was like, do you fancy this guy? You can get him for like one and a half million. And I was like, yes, please. Um, he's got 13 caps for Finland, six goals, scoring well. Just a really good player. 21 years old, valued at 4.3 already. Didn't have the best of seasons in Norway. Didn't score enough goals. And 
that that's quite bad. But he's scoring for Finland, and that's good enough for me. So a little bit of strength to our attacking uh, lineup there. Um, the players we've got rid of are where are we? So the first player I got rid of was Maro Coppolaro, who was a um, centre back. No, that wasn't us. I'll take that back. That wasn't us. Okay, so we loaned out one, a couple of players. Um, we sold Federico, he's rubbish. And the big sell we did was Cristiano Stella, who is a right winger, 21 years old. Bags of pace and nothing else, really. And we sold him for £5 million to West Ham. What are you doing, West Ham? He's, he's not very good. Uh, so, very happy with that. We've bought in some money, so now we've got £8 million to spend. We've only got £2 million in the bank, so we've got to be a little bit careful... As regarding debt and loans, we're in Italy, so there's there's always going to be massive loans and debts because that's what they do over there. So we've got um, thirty five million pounds in in loans. Um, how much are we paying? Six hundred and ninety thousand pounds a month. Woohoo! Right. Okay. Some work to be done there on the finances. Um, so I'm not going to be go crazy with it. Um, one of the big players you'll probably recognise is Immobile. We're going to call him Immobile because that's just what it looks like, right? Uh, 33 years old now, probably be his last season with us. We need to get down this wage budget a little bit. There's a there's a couple of players that are just way too overpaid. This guy being one of them, Vasco Regini, 33-year-old um, left back. He's, he's probably so high paid because he's been with the club six seasons and he's on 53 grand a week and he's just not good enough. Nobody wants him even on a free because he's probably demanding way too much in wages. So we're going to have to find a way of getting him off the books. Um, our star man, and uh, I'll show you the tactic now because this is what... I built the sort of team round. It's a sort of four four two narrow diamond. I've called it narrow minded because I'm <laughs> right. So it's a four four two diamond. Um, it's almost four three three in a way because we play we're playing um, a shadow striker. So the main man in our team was ain't no party like a Thomas party. It's Thomas Party. What a great name. 30-year-old Ghanaian international, bags of experience, and an absolute beast of a defensive midfielder. This guy is a monster man. He's a monster man. Um, valued at £10 million. He's our highest paid player at the club. And we were like, okay, first things first, we're playing with a DM because he's just perfect for it. He's been with the club six years now, been solid every single season. So it was like, okay, playing with a DM. And then I was like... The weakest area of our team was wingers. We had a couple of fringy winger players. Uh, Santi Mina can play on the wing. It was not looking that good. So I was like, okay, we'll go with um, a wingerless tactic. Um, because our other ta backup tactic, which is the dominator, also doesn't use wingers. So which is quite handy. We're just not going to deal with wingers, at least for the rest of this season. Um, we're just going to improve what we've got. Um, so... The only thing we're really lacking is, at the moment, with this formation, is a attacking wing-back on the left-hand side. Um, this guy, Peter Vanek, is our only real left-back, apart from that guy that's on stupid amounts of money. We might give him a game to see if we can... You know, shop window and all that. Um, is he going to play all right? He's not even that good. We'll stick with what we got. Um, so, it, basically, what it is, is that the wing-backs provide the width... Um, these three sort of almost drop into like sort of the way Liverpool play when we're going forward is that the that Henderson will drop into like almost like a three at the back and that's what uh, party's going to be and then we're going to play with a deep line playmaker and my favourite role of this year which is the box to box midfielder in that central park so it's very attacking it's an attacking mentality um, the instructions are to just basically play it through the middle keep keep the ball um, play it round short passing just ticky tacker stuff right. No messing about. Exploit the middle because that's where we're playing. Play narrow because that's where all our players are, apart from the two wing backs. These are just going to provide outlets. It's not like we're going to have using these guys all the time. Um, that's the way we play. It's more so to do with just keeping this ball in there, outnumbering them, especially when we've got the ball in this attacking area because he's going to be up here somewhere. So we're going to have numbers. It could get horribly counter-attacked against, especially the bigger teams. But, you know, something different. I think something different. So... In Italy, you can have 12 subs. We don't actually have enough players to do 12 subs um, today. So we're going to get on and play one game. And then, um, so we can just sort of see how the team's getting on. Um, they sort of know the tactic roughly-ish. So this is our current form. 
So if you take out the cup round against Atlanta, we've not won in seven games. Not me. Previous guy. Don't blame me for it. So today we're playing Ascoli. I'm going to murder the names. Just be used to it. And they are 17th. So I'm hoping that we can start off with a good result. Please. Please be a good result. Really need a good result. We need mid-table this season. Otherwise, it's going to be a very short job. Okay. We've picked the team already. I will go through the team in more detail as we sort of go through the save. And get to know them a bit better. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, nervous. You never quite know how good your team is <laughs> until we play your first game and go, oh, shit. Oh, we're really bad. Or oh, we're really good. I'm, I'm worried that if we get beaten 4-0 against the shit team in our first game, I'm, I'm worried. Hang on one second. There's a postman. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you live unboxing. I just answered the door to the delivery man in a Christmas hat. He was quite confused. It's not Christmas. Just in case you're wondering. Right. This is a live unboxing, people. I think I, it better be what I think it is, unless it's a very weird delivery. Yes! I've got that bag full of packing material that we all wanted. Hang on. Bum, bum. One moment, please. Ba 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 Right, put this down without breaking my entire green screen. Oh, look, I'm, I'm destroying the magic here of the green screen. <laughs> okay. Good. Let's get this in. Let's get this in. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ha ha ha! That's amazing! <laughs> Here we go, my friends. Oh, that's really good. Bosh. How do they do it on those vlog channels? Yeah, yeah. You can't see it. That's green, obviously. The green screen's freaking out. Right. There's the mug. My new mug. My first bit of merch. Cheeky can't concentrate. Lovely. Lovely. They will be available once. That's brilliant. That's nice quality, actually. Very, very happy with that. Um, they will be available once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So um, I will make a video when, when they're available. I don't know how that goes back in the box. That'll do. Right. Okay, enough of that stuff. Excuse me, dogs. I really want to pop one of these. I'm going to pop one of these. Okay, prepare your eardrums, people. I'm popping one. Last one. You, you, you want it? Do you want it, Mrs. Freya? There's a little one here. I can't pop it. That's no, gone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you licked my glasses, man. Right. Go away. Go away. Good boy. Good girl. Right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I was just a bit excited. Come on, dogs. Out. You're destroying my green screen, man. What are you doing? You're wrecking the place. Right. Sorry about that. Tough one to call, but Ascoli will be on low on confidence after a poor run of form. Just enough to see Lazio through. The absence of Sentino. Okay. We're favourites. We're at home. We've got a brand new tactic. I have no idea if it works. They're playing three attacking. So this could be a a six-all game. Right. Um... So let's have a look. We've, our new assistant manager is not confident enough in my ability to offer tactical advice. That's amazing. And you're the assistant manager. That is... Right, you're getting fired after the game. Okay, good. I'm going to... Uh, morale is okay. Um, I'm going to go with a bit of passionate faith. There's more to come from you, lads. More to come. Yep, more to come from you. Good, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so I've just noticed 
that my entire team contains one league goal. Which is good to see. Right, okay, it's fine. It's fine. They won't have played it. They won't be expecting it. Look at the stadium. It's a bit of an upgrade from Venlo. I wonder how many fans. What's what's the Lazio Stadium? 40,000, 40, is it? It's just, just a random guess. Okay, let's get used to the players and pronunciations. Wallace, we know him. We can pronounce him. He's good. He's our uh, Brazilian centre-back. He'll probably be the one that leaves us at the end of the season, I think, to make way for Harry Owen, obviously. Okay, free kick. Here we go. Early doors. Can we get a, get a goal, please? Okay. Balati's going to chase this down. He's going to get there first. Plenty of time. What's he going to? What's he got in his locker? Everybody's out to impress me now. You see. All right. Ain't no party like a Thomas party. Balati's got it again. Lovely ball inside. This is nice build up. This is what I wanted to see. This is beautiful play. Beautiful. Can we finish it? Oh, what a finish, son! It's Cavalier. With his first goal of the season. Six minutes gone. 1-0 up. All hail me. I'm a genius. Said said no one ever. Right. I'd like a nice, you know, two or three goal lead by half time, please. Just so we can rest some players. Try some things out, you know. Well, we're absolutely dominating. I knew we'd get possession lead in most games, against smaller teams especially, just the way we play. But the fact we've limited them to one shot. This is beautiful play. Vanek, he's our not attacking left winger or wing back. He doesn't know how to attack. But he knows how to tackle and he's nicked in. Cavalier plays a little cheeky one too. Cross ball in. Oh, side net in. Okay, it's fine. Playing amazingly well. Four half chances, one clear-cut chance. Lovely stuff. I want to try the our new signing at half-time. I'm hoping we can get a second goal before half-time and then we can try out the new Finnish international. What a hit! Oh, it ain't no pie like a Thomas Party! Get in there! What a name. Imagine having the second name Party. Genius. Vanek with the throw. Mina plays it across. Party's there. Deflected off that guy's head. But we'll take it. It's definitely his goal. It was going in the other corner, mate. That's why we wanted Thomas Party. He's going to be a beast for us this season. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if that could have gone better. I don't know whether it's just because we were so shit with Venlo in the last couple of months. Very pleased, boys. Very pleased. And we're going to bring uh, Gere. We need, we, we need some nicknames for some of these people. Um, he's our complete forward option. I think he can score some goals, that kid. Okay, carry on, boys. Cheeky calm, concentrate. Just throw it in there. Don't think we really need it at the moment. A third goal would be nice, especially a debut goal for Lat Latinen. Latte, we call him Latte. <laughs> Right, corner ball in. We haven't done free, uh, set pieces as yet. We haven't set up those. Back post, back post. Yes! Cavalier with his second of the season. And second of the game. Get in there, son. And that was the left back. The shitty left back. With the with a decent cross to the back post. Impressive. I wonder if this is just one of those new manager boosts. Like you see in real life. Sack your manager. Get a new manager in. In the hope that for at least five games they'll be good. Because all the players are trying to impress people. Okay, is this a rare highlight for them? It is. And Blanco's through. Blanco is through. Not a chance, mate. Not a chance. Oh, we've lost the possession. That's disappointing. Well, they can keep the ball all they like. The 3-0 down, idiots. Okay, let's um, just give some game time. Some of the other players. Our two, I think our left and right back are going to get tired. A lot and quite quickly. We also need a backup for Thomas Party because we don't really have another defensive midfielder that there's actually any good there. So um, we'll go for Catalano, the box to box. No, we're not because I can't count to three. Apparently, three is too tricky for me. Have we moved up in the league table? Where are we? Thirteenth. No. 
No. Really, mid table is the is the goal this season. Right, Regini, can we nick a final goal? Doesn't look like it, but that will do me, my friends. Clean sheet, three goals. Gutton. Oh, this could be a goodie. Oh, this could be a goodie. I have not managed in Italy for maybe 10 years in a football manager game. My my assistant is fucking awful. He just, he says nothing. At half time, he said, I can't think of anything. Full time, can't think of anything. Tactics beforehand, not sure, mate. Not confident. Who is this guy? Right. Absolutely sensational victory, boys. Cavalier with his first two goals of the season. Like... His finishing isn't amazing, right? But I'm playing him as a shadow striker. Everything else he's got, I just think he needs to work on his finishing. And for ten, it's not horrific, you know, for a shadow striker. It's not horrific. It's not Owen levels. Right. Bish, bash, bosh. Job done. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, it's a, it was a fan day as well. Oh, it's only 20, 29,000. That's, that's disappointing. How big's the stadium? Let's look at the facilities, actually. I haven't really looked at them yet. Um, shitting tits. That's a massive stadium. 70,000! Well, that's room to grow then, isn't it? If that's, a fan day gets us 30,000-ish, 30, then we've got room to grow. Um, court facilities, no, we get training. Excellent training, excellent youth. That's fantastic. Good junior coaching and well-established. We can work a little bit on that. But we can't do it yet. We've got no money. We're pissing away money. This is going to be the issue um is what was the what was the loan 690,000 oh my oh dear god that's disgusting At the end of this season we're going to be 21 million pounds in debt okay right we need to sign good young players for free that we can sell for millions. We need to keep this club afloat. My God, we need to fix that shit. That is awful. Okay, right. Join me in the next episode where hopefully we've made some uh, more transfers. I've got a bunch of players. Like I have, um, I've been building this sort of player shortlist of players for quite a while now. Of who really good players that I would like to get my hands on, and I'm going to try and get a few. I did look at bringing in... Obviously, I can't bring in Sandy Willie anymore. I'm not playing with wingers anyway. The one I wanted was Callum Gribben, but they wanted like £9 million for him, and I could do better, cheaper. Pontus Janssen was another option that I thought about bringing in just as a sort of cover option. I still might do that. Oh, that was uh, Party's 150th league game. Nice. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Let me know what you think of the new team in the comments below. Um, also, any 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 nicknames for the weird for the weird names? Um, if you want to do nicknames, please do leave them in the comments. We've got. We I think for the next couple of years we're going to have to be a selling club. We're going to have to be the Southampton of the Serie A. Pro produce good youngsters, sell them on at market. That's what we're going to have to do for the time being, just to sort out these finances. But I still think we can improve. But we've got a decent squad. Right, enough of me waffling. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you for the next video. Bye-bye. Buongiorno. <laughs> Is that Spanish or Italian? Not even sure. <laughs>